the Beeman Home. Statistically, one in four women will experience violence in her lifetime. No woman, or man for that matter, should ever be abused, either mentally or physically. The mission of the Beeman Home is to provide essential services to domestic violence victims and their children. Saving lives. Our whole purpose is to empower them to make decisions for themselves and to become self-sufficient. One crisis at a time. I was a mess when I came here. I was angry. I was coming off all those pills. I'd ran from everything all my life. Never faced anything. In 2010, Tracy Mark had hit rock bottom. I was brought up in a very abusive home. Um, my mom was abused. We were abused. Um, I was abused sexually. She spent years trying to cope by using drugs, drugs that cause serious health problems. She married abusive men, even tried to commit suicide. Her turning point? The day she walked into the Beeman home. They never left me. They left know that it was right. and that they were there for me and they've stood by me even when they've seen me blow it. The Beeman Home is a place where abused women and children can go and feel that they are safely taken care of. Hal Harding, board president for the Beeman Home, is helping lead the charge for a new facility one that will meet the needs of abused women and children in the community today. We have a 97-year-old facility that has, was designed and built for a, a three-bedroom home for possibly a five-member uh, family. And we have had, and recently, up to 17 people in there, six adults, the remainder being children. The Beeman Home was started by the Altrusa Club, and I was a member of the Altrusa Club, and uh, we recognized the need in the community. Sue Creighton was there 27 years ago and is still on board today. She says they started with a prayer and $1,500, never anticipating their growth or the fact that they would still be in that same home today. There are 13 beds in those three bedrooms, and uh, that's a problem. Uh, it's becoming uh, more often that we are completely full. And when we're completely full, uh, we have more than one family in each of those bedrooms. And we bring in cots and we bring in cribs and we do everything we can, but these women are already stressed from having gone through their abusive relationships. So this, it only adds to their stress. Executive Director Tracy Hodson sees the stress on the faces of the women and children who call the Beeman home Home. We're in a single dwelling home that was never meant to house multiple families and it definitely wasn't meant to house multiple families in crisis. And so you're trying to serve families in crisis in 1,800 square feet. You're trying to provide just the basic living, but also in addition to that, you want to provide self-sufficiency workshops and educational opportunities and activities for the kids. And the space is so limited that it really hinders what we're really able to do here. Right now, they help approximately 1,000 victims of domestic violence a year. In Beeman Home itself, they're serving between 120 and 250 a year. Still, they know they could help more. The vision that we have for the new building will include um, up to 10 rooms, and each of them will be set up in suites. So we actually have two bedrooms that share a bathroom. So we'll have five individual bathrooms in the residential area. And we want the residential area to be completely separate from what we consider the program area. So where we hold trainings, where we have workshops, um, where we do our paperwork, which is always a part of the social work services. Until that happens, here's the reality. Statistically, one in four women will experience violence in her lifetime, and if you apply that statistic to our service area, there is a potential of 18,000 silent victims living here in, in, in our town or in our counties. Um, and in, in that, you know, we're only serving in our services between 200 and 400 families, and it could be so many more. Think about it. One out of four from every walk of life. My mother was abused growing up, and so I, I sort of knew about the Beeman home, but never really 
thought much about it because quite honestly, when you grow up with that, you want to put that behind you. State Representative Rebecca Kubaki is behind the fundraising effort for a new facility. And she can account for the very reason why. I remember one night in particular, we heard the door slam violently and we right away knew what it was. And our sort of security was to go under the bed and we would stay there and um, wait till it stopped. And one time in particular, I, I remember opening the door and seeing my mother crying. And I was thinking, tomorrow, I'm gonna talk to my mom and say, let's go. But there wasn't a beam home for us. And that has already stayed with me. And, and when this came about, I thought, we can do something. We can, I wanna make sure that there's a beam and home excuse me, for children like myself and mothers like my mom. And for mothers like Tracy, where the Beeman home has made all the difference. I would say that coming here started all the changes in my life. I mean, look at me. I'm not bragging on myself because it was a long journey and I had a lot of baggage and they've helped me so much in so many ways and without them, this community would be at a loss. We need them. People like me need them.